Welcome to Cyborg Studios, my name is Simon Mayborg. This is a very quick video tutorial where we want to show how to set up Cyborg Rooms, our panorama player, uh, with just a few steps in just a few minutes, so let's not waste any time, let's start. So let's start on our homepage cyborgstudios.com. Uh, you can find a link to the shop on the left side or on the top right side a button to download the free version. Uh, just click it then you will get to the shop um, there you can change between the professional version and the free version just enter your data uh, accept the license agreement and then hit download rooms free uh, you will get an email uh, and the email will have a download link in it um, just click the link and you can download a zip archive so let's download this So when the download is finished, we just open the archive by clicking, double clicking on it. We extract everything to the desktop. So, so now on the desktop, we have a folder cyber grooms free. There's uh, some data in there. We have example material, uh, which we will later use. Uh, we have some German files, some English files. And we start by clicking on installation instructions. Um, this is basically a small description how to install Cyber Grooms and Cyber Architect. Uh, we need Adobe Air to run the architect, so we download Adobe Air as well. So when the download is finished, we just double click on the Air installation. And Adobe Air is going to install now. So, yes, I agree. So, Air is installed. Now we can go back to the folder itself and start the English setup. There's a German one and an in English one. We start the English one. And this installed Cyborg Architect and Cyborg Rooms as well. Just hit install. Yes. So now the whole application is being installed. So when the installation process is finished, the application starts automatically. Um, this is the first screen of the Cyborg Architect, which is the editor for the web application. We have the opportunity to create a new application or load an old one. Um, we don't have an old one yet, so we start a new one. Let's say my first app, create a new one. And we already see the whole interface. So to start, we now have to import the first panorama. Um, we have some data in the archive. Uh, let's just have a look. This is the archive again, example material. We have like two panoramic pictures, one image, an overview map, a logo and a video. So we start by importing the first panorama and we have to enter a title at first. So we say Marktplatz, which is the German title for marking place. So import the panorama. So now the panorama is already imported into the application. We can now navigate, like pan and zoom and stuff like that. And we have a cross in the middle, this thing here. We can use this thing to um, put some objects into the room. We call this a room. Um, let's say we want to put an object to this bank here. Say add slot. And just an image, we say Sparkasse, which is the name of the bank. We import the image, yes, and we can say some description. This is a bank. So now we already see we have this uh, little icon here, and we will find this thing later on in the web application again. So let's set up a new room. Uh, a second one, store this room, get a next room, 
false marked in the next room. We have the panorama in the archive as well. So we open the panorama image. And again, we are we have the whole room already in the application. We can add maybe here a video. Just select video, uh, video. This is all German content, but you will get an idea. Uh, we can play it. Yeah, a video. So at the slot. Again, we have the video here. So now the interesting thing is we can link these two rooms. We have the mark plots and the holes marked. So to link them, we can put another slot in there, which is an internal link. This to the mark plots, put it in there. You see it already here. Um, we change to the mark plot itself and we will link again to the holes marked as well. Put a slot to the holes marked. So, um, when we have done all of this, we can then uh, set up an overview map of these two rooms. So, we load the map. We have it here. And now we can set small pins on the map by clicking on it. Just we want to have one here. Um, this should be the mark plots. Yeah. And the holes marked is here. So we say holds marked at the mark and we have the overview map. So now we can export the whole application and view it in the browser. To do so, we just go to the export settings. Uh, we change the language to English because we want to see the English version and just hit store and view application. So it will already load in the browser, but it will fail at first because um, we don't have um, the local folder already in the trusted zone of flash configuration. So we just have to follow this link here. So we get to the global security settings in the flash player and we just have to add the folder where our application is locally playing. Uh, we can find the folder here on top, wait, here. And I would suggest you put in the whole your cyber grooms folder. I will do so. Just search for the folder. Um, this is normally installed in the uh, own documents folder. We have it here. Just edit. So we go back to the app and reload this thing. And it starts. So we can now hit full screen. So and then we see like the whole room glorious and full screen. We can hit like the Sparkassen link. This is the bank, Sparkasse. We can go to the holds marked. Um, we could play the video. So you see the navigator here. You could zoom out, zoom in. Um, yeah, you can view the overview map. We could can go back to the mark plots easily. So, and we could uh, just go back to the to the architect, and we could change a few things. Just like make the first room the holds marked when it starts. We just say no auto start. We uh, we like add a compass. Uh, we can set like the north thing. We say this is north, and we will start with this view, and just go back to the holds mark. Um, we will start with let's say uh, this view, and we just say store and view application, and again we go back to the browser. We have now an app that's not started yet. We hit start now 
and we starting in the at the holz mark as we said we have the compass here and we can go back to the mark plot so now you could set up a third room because we are on the free version and so on that's it the first application is running we could now transfer it to the web server and show it to the public, but uh, do it yourself. Go to cyborgstudios.com and download your versions of Cyborg Rooms. Um, if you need more than three rooms, which is the limit for the free version, go on, buy the professional version, which has some more capabilities like video chat, a search function, or you could even brand it yourself. So till next time, goodbye.